okay guys so now i'm working on the front driver's side and here are all the parts so it's going to be a set of brake pads uh, this one is not necessary but if you can get one it will be good like if yours breaks or whatever the tsx rotor this is brembo brand and this one the whole caliper with the bracket and the element driven sterling steel aligned and also this caliper comes with the bowl and the two washers and also comes with these shims and also this line comes with their own uh, washers and bolts guys but i'm going to just use the ones that comes in the caliper i just want to use this i think this one comes with this caliper so that's what i want to use you can use either this one or that one but i do prefer to use this one for now because this is what it came from the caliper so you guys can take a decision uh, that's what i'm using so now the first thing that we are going to do guys is uh, remove the caliper uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna remove one ball which is gonna be this one right here which is a 12 millimeter after that i'm going to remove this caliper out of the way then i'm going to remove uh, the 12 millimeter ball that is holding this bracket and then we're gonna do this pretty much the same thing as the rear one remove this clip lose this 10 millimeter here uh, and then we are going to remove the bracket that is held by 17 millimeters and then we're going to remove the rotors to remove the rotors we need to remove these two phillips i will highly recommend you to get a an impact uh, screwdriver which is this one if you use a regular screwdriver you might uh, mess up this you don't want to do that just go with this and it's just going to make it way easier okay guys so let's work on this lose the brake line i think it's just gonna make it easier to lose that ball once everything is uh installed so i'm just gonna lose this and then i'm going to tighten it again i'm gonna over tight it just tighten it enough so later it's easy for me to remove it and then i'm gonna switch this to uh, 12 millimeter and i'm going to lose this ball there it is Put it by the side, then fully remove this caliper out of the way. And I'm going to hold it with this, so it's just out of my way. There it is. And now we're going to remove these clips from the brake pads. This one we don't going to use it anymore, the TSX brake pads comes without it. So don't worry about it, because now everything is going to be... Uh, modified it to the TSX so these ones we don't want to use it anymore and now what I'm gonna do next is remove the two balls for the caliper bracket and that's a 17 millimeter ball so I'm just gonna use a bigger ratchet This one comes pretty tight, so one of the reasons why I'm using a half of inch longer ratchet. I just switch it to a short socket, which it just make it easier for me. So now, guys, let's remove caliper bracket. Two balls also this one we don't gonna use it but we are going to reuse these balls okay so make sure that we keep these two balls and then and then we're gonna remove these two Phillips screws now the other side there it is pretty easy to do if you guys have problems with this uh, this one gets messed up which it happens sometimes that you can drill it you just drill through the metal of the ball and should be ready to go so here are the screws we gonna throw this away because we also got new ones it came it came new ones with the rotors i forgot to mention that but that was really nice of brembo they provide with two new of these uh, rotor screws which i really like that now remove the rotor out of the way guys and now I'm going to clean this a little bit with a brush 
and also clean this and then I'm gonna make a small cut here I will let you know uh, how to cut this a little bit of a uh, brake cleaner and then we are ready guys to so now I grab the caliper and if you guys align it with the holes you can notice in that corner is hitting is hitting this uh, part so I just use a sharpie and I made a mark right here in this corner you guys can see the line and also over there and then we're gonna cut that part of the backing plate and to do that you can always use these pliers i used this before and it works nice it just take longer but it does work but this time i'm just gonna use uh, this cutting wheel so it's just gonna make it faster for me so let's do it guys make sure that you use eye protection You guys can see I already cut it and it's a really nice and straight cut and also I did it over here and now what I'm gonna do next guys is I'm just gonna grab some uh, paint I don't want to rust that part where I cut so this is gonna spray paint a little bit uh, where I there it is And I should make it guys, now just wait for the paint to dry. And I'm ready to install the rotor bug. Rotor should be plug and play. And then install the caliper now that with that backing plate cut, this one should fit with no problems. Make two of them and guys make sure that you clean this rotor really nice with brake cleaner I already cleaned the back side but after doing this I'm going to clean the front don't over tie this just where you feel it's tight that's enough so brake cleaner for the front rotor just gonna install the caliper bag back in place shouldn't hit that out anymore and use the bolts that originally came in the car the 217 millimeter bolts there it is now I'm just gonna tighten it guys let me show you better what I'm doing there so let's tie those two bolts and after the two bolts are nice and tight guys I'm just going to remove this bolt right here and then we're gonna install the brake pads and the cool thing about this guys is that the pins inside here they are already lubricated really nice just let me take it out so I can show it to you it has a really nice grease so you don't have to worry about that lubricating that okay and then we are going to install the provided chimps it comes with two chimps you can use uh, the chimps either up and down they are the same the same uh, part and just go around you know check with your flashlight make sure this back in place not hitting the rotor or the chimps are not hitting the rotor then after you're happy with it you grab your brake pads and then you install it guys some people with that something here you know like on the points where it sits usually i just do it like that and i never had any problems with it so that's i will say personal preference as long as these pins are really nice lubricated everything is new and clean and then you should be good with it the piston on the caliper is already uh, compressed so that's nice we're gonna install this bag and we're gonna tie this ball and also this ball in the bottom just in case to make sure everything is good nice and tight caliper is moving really nice here now let's remove this ball a 12 millimeter and after removing this ball i will remove this clip 
lose this uh, 10 millimeter and then we're gonna be ready to install the line move it clockwise and it's almost out and then I can always grab this plier and then just and then just kind of wiggle it and pull on it what I'm gonna do first guys is install the new line here tie the line here just like kind of run the line through here and then have my line ready so as soon as I remove this then I can install my line right away so let's do that so I already installed this guys and then I already also installed the ball here as you guys see it the mount is different from the OEM but the ball will fit and I didn't have any problems like this is not moving around as long as you keep it together I'm good with it you guys can always cut this if it bothers you it doesn't really bother me I will try to cut it anyways and then guys I didn't really make a mess so far and I already disconnect this as, as soon as you disconnect this guys try to be quick let's see try to just be quick to remove it that way it's not like leaking a lot of uh, oil and so far this job is not being messy at all so right now this is open we re quickly remove it be careful that the caliper might fall down there you go and then we just install this bug really quick and And there it is guys, this is uh, going in pretty smooth, that's what you want, go by hand first, clean it up a little bit, I like it that I didn't make a mess over there, install this one bag, and just kind of guide it in place a little bit and then you can always hammer it a little bit and there it is now it's all the way in clean a little bit of the oil and then just tie this i'm gonna use this one right now because it's gonna be faster and once you feel it's almost all the way tight grab your 17 millimeter hold this part of the line and then now we can tie it and uh, i like there i really like to clean this all the time because once you are brake bleeding the brakes then you will know if you have any any leaks i cut it over here guys just to make it look a little bit more oem so let's bleed it and let's install the wheel bag and now let's take it for a test drive so now it's uh, all bleed guys and just make sure that you top it off if you need some more i really like that this one is nice and clean uh, because we replaced the four lines so just top it off and test driver and see how it feels star wars inspired element Okay guys, so I've been driving around and when I just started driving, uh, it was a little bit of like a, like a noise, but that was because both the brakes and the rollers breaking in. After like a few stops, that noise went away. Uh, it feels really nice. I don't really want to go hard on the brakes because I just installed them. It would be a good idea to break them in for a few uh, miles until then you can kind of uh, try it uh, harder but so far uh, compared to the first time when i just got this car it does feels like it stops uh, quicker so that's really nice and if you guys feel like it needs to be more uh, bleeding you can always bleed ag again all four wheels sometimes it happens so if you run to that problem don't 
don't uh don't freak out just you know bleed it again and you should be okay so i will have to do a review video after a few months